Are you concerned that your phone has recently been hacked? Here's how to tell. First, let's talk about how phones actually do get hacked. Have you ever been in a hotel room and a nice lady comes in, tries to clean it for you? Well, guess what? Could be an evil maid. Evil maid attack. That is when somebody has access to your physical device and they alter it in some sort of undetectable way and right. then they can access that data later called the evil maid attack because it's was coined after hotel rooms. We leave our electronics unattended at hotels and a maid, Maybe you do. A, an evil maid could come in and access and it. hack it. Yep. Indeed. Also quite common, phishing scams. We get a ton of emails from people who say, I just got this really weird email from Apple. It says it's from Apple, but there are all these typos and the email address is something that's not Apple. And they're like, is this actually legit? Right. Or a text message. Yep. Same deal. I, I think it's amazing that these people don't take the time to spell check their phishing emails. Yep. I mean, if somebody paid me to do it, I could write a pretty good one that would fool a lot more people than yep. their crap. I'm just saying. Yeah. Also, it's possible that an app could install another app on your Android specifically. There's a setting called install unknown apps, which allows apps to install other apps without your permission. That is one of the settings we recommend to turn off most often. Right, and we're going to get to that later, but yep. we also have an Android settings video that you might enjoy watching after this one. If you jailbreak your iPhone or root your Android, you open yourself up to all sorts of hacks. Right. The Android operating system has gotten better at recent years of having verified apps. Mm -hmm. Apple has always been good at locking stuff up, but jailbreaking, rooting, mm -hmm. takes off the safeguards. An app could install and steal all the data on your phone and... It's just it's more dangerous than people think. Right, and especially now with iPhones, it just jailbreaking really isn't that necessary anymore because some of those really popular early jailbreak features have just been built into the iPhone at this point. Yeah, Apple just said, yeah, we'll take that. That's a good a flashlight app. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Public charging stations. Just be a little bit careful with these because you plug your phone in, you just never know who's on that other end. I think that people should never use these mm -hmm. because when you plug in your phone to one of these things, you're taking a chance that the power that's coming out of it mm -hmm. is like good for your phone. Right. It could be too high of an amperage. Yeah. And if that's the case, you could say good night yeah. to good charging. So. Yes. Also, that you don't know if that cable is MFI certified if you're using an iPhone. Well, I think, yeah, true. Don't people usually use their own cables? I guess they have cables. Sometimes right? they have cables, yeah. They have their own cables, yeah. Well, it doesn't have, yeah. They should, yeah. Bad VPN providers. I know a lot of people are looking for shortcuts with VPNs. They want those free VPNs that they can get. Because they app. want to be secure. Right. But uh, bad VPNs, they are just taking your traffic information and just possibly selling it off to whoever. Yep, they're storing it, they're selling it, and there's a really cool website that does a DNS leak test. You should run this on your phone or your computer at home. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. I'll open up Safari, dnsleaktest.com. The mobile site uh, leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of design. So I'm just gonna zoom in, standard test, extended test. I'm gonna do the extended test. It really doesn't take that much longer than the standard test. We put out a video called Safari settings that you need to change. Mm -hmm. And in that, we walk through how to reconfigure your DNS servers to use Cloudflare, which is more secure than your ISP. It's more secure than Spectrum because you really don't know what they're doing with it. Cloudflare, Google DNS. We're going to see a bunch of Cloudflare yep. instances here because we use Cloudflare. And so Cloudflare is, is taking our traffic and it's going right to where it's supposed to go. If you see things popping up in here that you don't recognize, well, watch out. Yep. And then it's really time to take a look at some of these better DNS services Abs that are free, yes. by the way. Absolutely. Next, connecting to a public Wi-Fi network, one without a password that can set up a man-in-the-middle attack. Yep. Man-in-the-middle attacks mean that somebody is intercepting the traffic coming from your device and then sending it along to the router. Mm -hmm. Especially bad if you're using websites that aren't SSL. Most are yep. these days. But... This is a really good way for people to invisibly just steal your stuff. Could be some dude in Starbucks. Are you watching this video in Starbucks right now? Take a look around you. Yeah. Is there anybody suspicious? That grandmother over there with the chai latte? She might be hacking she you. She might be a hawker. Watch out. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the signs of hacking are invisible, and they kind of present as software problems. Yep. So one of the ways that software problems usually present is that your phone slows down. Yep. So... If your phone slows down, it could be a software problem, but also it could be that something's running in the background of your phone. I think that Androids are more susceptible to this than mm -hmm. iPhones, unless it's jailbroken. Yep, excessive battery drain, gets too hot, excessive data usage, all signs there could be a hack going on. Right, but if you're having these problems, I don't think that it's probably hacked, unless right. you're seeing some real clear signs that something's very wrong. Um, well, usually some it's... 
something yeah. that's very wrong. It's making calls or sending texts or right. sending social media messages or sending emails that you aren't actually sending. Right. If people are <laughs> saying, I just got a call from you, you need to make that call. Uh oh. Yeah. They're getting text messages from you and you didn't send the text. Uh oh. <laughs> if they're getting Facebook messages from you, which happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I had it happen to me recently. Somebody sent me a message that was clearly a hacked message. Yep. Sorry about that, by the way. That's all right. Yeah. That happens all the time, but it usually is because the password for Facebook is hacked and mm -hmm. the password for Messenger, it's, it's not that your whole phone is hacked. Sometimes hackers just get a hold of the password, in which case the solution is simply to change the password. Yeah. Don't freak out. I think sometimes people think that their phone is hacked when it actually isn't. Yeah, I think it's, it's safe to assume first that it's a software problem. We have fixed videos for all of these different sorts of problems. We'll link to those in the description section below. Yeah. But if you work through those tips and the problems persist and they're happening all at once, and especially the one about the phone calls and text messages, uh, your phone might be hacked. So what can we do about all this? First, turn on two-factor authentication in as many places as possible. It makes your life twice as hard and twice as secure. It really doesn't make your life twice as hard. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think that gets kind of overblown, especially now, where two-factor authentication it sends a text to your phone, and Apple has that great fill in the, the six-digit passcode feature now, and it's super fast. Okay, that's the, that's the least secure of the two-factor authentications. Yeah. But, yeah, it's better than nothing. Turning off install unknown apps if you have an Android is a big one. You just don't want to allow other apps to download load new apps without your permission. It just can cause all sorts of problems. It doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Right. And it isn't. Yeah, we'll link a card above the description section below to show you how to turn that off as well as a whole bunch of other great Android privacy features. Updating passwords on accounts. You thought you were going to take this day off? Yeah. Well, sorry. You get to spend it updating your passwords. You probably aren't going to do this, but if you, if you know that a password has been compromised, do take the time to go back and update it. And if that is the same password used on multiple accounts, you really want to change those for the other accounts too. And you ideally, you should have unique passwords for every single account. I don't think anyone really does that. <laughs> uh, but if they get your password once, they're pretty safe to assume they can crack a few other accounts yeah. of yours. Yeah, my iPhone is constantly telling me that I have to change 500 of my passwords, like every password I've ever made. I'm not doing that, for the record. <laughs> Sorry. One, two, three, four. Is that a good passcode? No, it's not. Don't it's rely. a good way to declare a thumb war, though. It is. Okay. Don't rely on four-digit <laughs> passcodes. There are three four-digit passcodes that make up 20% of all users. Okay. Uh, so someone realistically has about a one in five chance of getting your passcode correct on the first three tries. One, two, three, four, zero, 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 one, 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 one. It was interesting because I believe it was eight, zero, six, eight was one of the safest passwords. And then a whole bunch of articles got written about it. And then it became not safe anymore. Right. And so what I was guessing, I thought it'd be five, 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 five. Wasn't that? Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be two, five, eight, zero. That was and number then, 22. Yep, Zek guessed one, three, seven, nine. Okay. So basically any of the shape ones. Yeah are not very secure. Sometimes when people go one, four, seven, nine, like the, the L or mm. something, four, seven, eight. If I just guessed your passcode, change it. The problem is that most cell phones only let you go up to six digits now, but just make those passcodes as long as you possibly can, as long as it will allow. And if you can do alphanumeric, even better. Also, don't just rely on biometrics. Yeah, because everything falls back to the passcodes. Mm -hmm. uh, biometrics are, are great for ease of use, and Face ID really is pretty darn secure. Mm -hmm. But even if you've got the wrong face, you can put in the passcodes. If you've got 5555 in Face ID, it doesn't matter if it's one in a million for Face ID. Yep, next, factory restore or reset your iPhone. Right, so if you're hacked, the best thing to do is just restore the phone back to factory settings mm -hmm. because, you know, you don't want to have to try to figure out what part of the phone is hacked. By the time it's hacked, it's too late anyway. Just yep. wipe it clean and start over again, yep. essentially, right? For more tips, join this channel. We would love to have you as one of our Pay It Forward family members. Mm -hmm. Larry Nicholson just joined us for a live stream. Mm -hmm. He's a member. So are a whole bunch of other people. If you want access to us, PDF downloads of some of these tips, you don't have to leave a comment that says, you're going too fast. We can't keep up. Not that we don't appreciate that comment every day. Mm -hmm. Those are some signs that your phone has been hacked and what you can do about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment down below. I'm curious to hear if your phone has been hacked and what you did about it and what that experience is like for you. So yeah. please let us know.